Hello buddy and welcome to a tropical update here on Atlantic and you can see this is just a of course a wide view uh, of the Atlantic Basin right now and you can see a fairly active Atlantic at, um, right now uh, as usually as forecast uh, again we're not too far away from the peak uh, of this hurricane season the climatological peak of this hurricane season um, which pretty much means that they average out you know uh, season A from season B um, from X span of years let's say and um, they get from that average the average date of where um, activity usually uh, tends to peak around in Atlantic Basin um, so we're c coming really close to that date right now um, you can see on this Atlantic wide view right now we have tropical storm Paulette currently active here right where my cursor is and then just to the east of that we have newly formed tropical storm Rene uh, also active as well and then uh, farther east off screen here, we have a uh, tropical wave uh, that's going to come off of Africa in a few days from now and uh, has a decent chance of formation. And then also just south of Bermuda here, it's really hard to see, of course, I, um, as you could probably not be able to see it. Um, but right over here, right about here, um, you probably wouldn't know it, but right about here, there's an area of interest just south of the island of Bermuda here. that also has a decent chance of formation here that the next few days and hours here um, and I'll talk about that a little bit here but first off let's talk about tropical storm Paulette right now the strongest storm in Atlantic right right now at this very moment um, tropical storm Paulette as of Monday September 7th 2020 it's uh, as of the Lampian Atlantic Standard Time Advisory number five the center is currently located at 17.8 degrees north 42.5 degrees west with maximum sustained one minute winds estimated to be 45 miles per hour moving to the north northwest at five miles per hour and uh, the forecast peak is up again um, it went down to 60 miles per hour in a previous update but now it's back up to 65 miles per hour from what the national hurricane center think the peak will be for uh, paulette and uh, i'll talk to you in a little bit here about why uh, i believe they probably raised it up by about five miles per hour in the latest update here but uh, you can see the forecast cone right now so far so good in terms of uh, not uh, seeing a U.S. impact, but of course that could that could change here throughout the next coming days. So keep a close eye on this storm. Um, nothing to panic about just yet, but just uh, keep a close eye on this storm and the storm behind it, uh, Tropical Storm Rene. Um, we can see on this forecast cone, um, they have this storm again peak as a 65 mile per hour storm, tropical storm, and they have it gradually weakening on until about 8 p.m. Fri Friday. After 8 p.m. Friday, it goes from at this point in time, the National Hurricane Center think a 50 mile per hour tropical storm back up to a 60 mile per hour tropical storm by 8 p.m. Saturday the next day. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, track and intensity progresses uh, over the next coming days here. Let's take a look at the satellite imagery for uh, tropical storm Paulette right now from uh, the beautiful Go 16 satellite here. Um, you can see just how the storms progressed here. Um, I apologize for that lagginess there, but this is how the storms progressed here over the past few hours. And you can just see how uh, better and better the find it's been getting and likely due, due to this is probably why the National Hurricane Center ran again um, with uh, 65 miles per hour like they would have believed in this old risery on a pre uh, tropical storm Paulette here. Um, the brain uh, that uh, really uh, gives a good idea. Um, they, they really made a good, I think they made a good call here. Um, raising it up by about five miles per hour here because of just how uh, good the storm looks at this point. However, we'll stay and believe, if I'm not mistaken here, uh, and again, I'm not a professional meteorologist, a certified meteorologist by any means, it's just a hobby of mine, but um, I believe the center circulation is actually just a tad south of where all that deep convection is firing over. Um, of course, it's probably going to try to go over that, that uh, the center circulation is probably going to try to go over all that deep convection there. Um, within the next coming hours here and uh, we'll see if it actually does that or not if it does that then it probably has a, a more better chance of a, uh, maybe rap perhaps rapid intensification or at least a steady intensification here uh, to the next coming hours and days here as the storm progresses on with time now to switch gears tropical storm rene right now currently active in atlantic here and you can see it's forecast to become a category one Hurricane here as the as the storm progresses here with time, um, the National Hurricane Center have the storm peaking as an 80 mile per hour uh, category one hurricane here, um, and you can also see as well there is a tropical storm warnings uh, in effect for the Cabo Verde Islands right now um, as the storm passed over um, one of the islands there. In fact, it's uh, the most recent tropical cyclone uh, landfall there, counting also tropical depression landfalls. Most recent. Tropical storm, uh, tropical cyclone landfall 
and uh, one of the islands of the Cabo Verde Islands uh, since a, a, a storm in 2016. I think it was, I don't think it was Bonnie. It was um, some other storm in 2016. Completely forgot the name of it, but um, tropical, uh, tropical depression at the time before it became a named storm um, hit uh, the island of uh, the Cabo Verde Islands that uh, Rene went over just about now. And um, for that, I believe the last storm to hit there in that part, in that island of the Cabo Verdes was, I think, in the 19, the 19 earlier, mid-1920s, I want to say, if my, mem my memory serves me right here. But you can see the latest cone here. To go ahead and uh, look at the the forecast header here, and you can see a tropical storm. Uh, Rene, moving across the eastern Cabo Verde Islands, expected to produce pro tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall across the Cabo Verde Islands today. And as you can see, let's go back to the forecast cone here. As of 2 p.m. Uh, Cabo Verde time, uh, is rising number four. The center is, oops, sorry about that. The center is currently located at 16.2 degrees north, 23.5 degrees west, with maximum sustained one minute winds estimated to be at 40 miles per hour. Moving due west at 14 miles per hour here. And like I said, it's forecast to become a 80 mile per hour category one hurricane here before eventually gradually weakening on with time here as the situation progresses here. Let's quickly take a look at the key messages here for Tropical Storm Renee here. I'm going to stop the video right now and read it if you want to. Um, I guess I'll go over it uh, here right now because it's a fairly short list here. Uh, Renee is expected to produce tropical storm conditions across portions of the Cabo Verde Islands this morning and afternoon. Tropical storm warning is in effect for those islands. Renee will bring locally heavy rainfall to portions of Cabo Verde Islands through this afternoon. And there's also a Spanish version as well, too, if you uh, want to stop the video right now and uh, read that uh, right there. So that's Renee. Um, here's a look at uh, infrared imagery of uh, Tropical Storm Renee right now. And you can see the tile system progressed. Uh, of course, not the most well-defined uh, Tropical Storm that could be, but still uh, worthy enough to be given the name Renee here. Um, as it passes over that uh, one island in the Cabo Verde, Verde Islands right there. Another interesting tidbit of information I should say, though, while I'm talking about this storm and uh, when I was talking about the other storm, uh, also active Paulette, um, is that the formation of both Paulette and uh, Rene marks the earliest formation date for those respective uh, letter uh, storms here. The, the, the R named storm, storm and the P named storm here. Um, the previous record was held by, for the P named storm, uh, the previous record was held by uh, Hurricane Felipe. Uh, when that formed on September 17th, 2005, and then the record for the R name storm was uh, originally uh, made by, uh, well not made by, but originally held by uh, Hurricane Rita uh, when that formed on September 18th, 2005. Um, so two uh, record-breaking storms in their own right here, Tropical Storm Renee and Tropical Storm Paulette here. Um, and you can just see how the storms have been progressing over time here. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what's also currently going on in, in Atlantic right now, you can see there's a wide read Atlantic right now, and you can see, um, of course, Paul Latin and Renee. Other than those two named storms at this point, we have two areas of interest here. Let's talk about disturbance number one here um, off the coast of, the, of uh, Bermuda here, just to the south of Bermuda here. You can see uh, formation chance of the next 48 hours is low, 20% chance. Information chance of the next five days is medium, 40% chance here. Then the one, number two, the, the one that's forecast to come off of Africa over the coming days here. Uh, information chance to the next 48 hours is a low, near 0% chance. Information chance to the next five days is a medium, 60% chance of formation there uh, in the Atlantic Basin. Quickly, I also want to shortly just talk about one in the East Pacific there. 10% uh, chance of formation after the next 48 hours and 20% for the next five days there in the East Pacific there. Just wanted to mention that briefly here. And uh, here's a look at... Uh, that area of interest just south of Bermuda here, uh, tagged recently tagged as 94L here. And you can see the storm is quite uh, uh, ill-defined here, but you can see, or I hope you can see a sensory circulation here. Right about my mouse cursor is trying to get going here. Um, of course, if that gets deeper convection or, or any type of convection really over it over a substantial period of time, um, I'm sure that'll make the National Hurricane Center raise the chances of it formation, uh, chances of it, uh, of it forming, I should say. And uh, perhaps um, later on down the line, it could become maybe a, a weak tropical depression, a really weak tropical storm here uh, later on, on, on down the line as it threatens the east coast of the United States here uh, with time. Regardless, regardless if it forms or not, um, 
rain is probably going to be an issue with this storm, uh, regardless of it forms or not. So just something to watch out for uh, if you live on the east coast here, around the, especially around the Carolinas here pretty much. We want to watch out for this storm here. I um, believe that's about it for this update here. Uh, let me see if there's any key messages for Paulette. No, there isn't at this point. Uh, no key messages for Paulette. Um, but as you can see, that's the cone for it. Um, and then there's the cone for Renee there. Um, of course, two record-breaking storms in their own right here. Uh, the earliest formations, formation of the P and R named storm um, in the Atlantic Basin here since they started naming storms. Uh, I think it was in the mid or, or late 1950s, I want to say, from my, my memory serves me right. Uh, my, my hurricane history uh, is uh, correct there. So I believe that's about it for me today. Um, make sure, of course, to get official information. Always check uh, the National Hurricane Center. The National Hurricane Center website is right here on my screen. And just type up nhc.noah.gov, of course. And then also, also type up the National Weather Service here for localized weather forecast here. There is a, a really unusual September winter event going on um, for parts of the United States right now, parts of the country now. Um, so if you want to get the latest information on that, um, always look at the National Weather Service here and uh, just click on wherever you live, like say you live in Colorado um, or, or uh, not Colorado, or Wyoming, as it say, or Colorado down south of it. Um, I don't know, just click uh, Colorado down there and uh, it'll give you the latest information of what's currently going on near neck of the woods there. Um, you could click on anywhere on this map, like say you live there in Castle Rock. Uh, you could click there. Same goes for um, if you live on the coastline of the United States here, like in the Gulf of Mexico and east east coast of the United States here. Uh, you could click on uh, this map here, and it'll take you to. Uh, it'll give you a five day graphical forecast for your area, and it also give you a, a seven day text uh, forecast below that, and also has a, a hour by hour hourly forecast uh, for you as well. It looks like this doesn't want to load on my end here, um, so I'll just go back to this wide view here. Oh no, it actually just did load. Um, like I said, it'll give you a, a five-day graphical outlook here um, and then a, a seven-day detailed forecast and text below that. And also has another map here so you can click around where you uh, live or the general region where you are. Um, if you don't know know about that, you could also put in a zip code here or put in a nearest town or city name nearby you and uh, click that. And again, get the latest forecast here and then, of course, get an hourly forecast as well to plan your day out hour by hour here um, over the next coming uh, hours and day or two here. So that's about it for me. Hope everybody has a great day and I guess I stay safe. They stay safe, of course. Um, make sure, again, like I said, you're prepared for this hurricane season if you haven't already. You've already had major, uh, well, significant hurricanes before the season, um, before, during the season, I should say. Uh, of course, we had, you know, Hurricane Hannah, uh, Hurricane Laura, uh, most recently, and Hurricane Isaias. Um, really uh, nasty hurricanes. Uh, throughout the past few months here, so of course make sure you have your hurricane plan ready to go and set to go. If the situation does arise, we have to evacuate to uh, take action if needed. So hope everybody has a great day and night. Wherever you guys are, stay safe of course. Till then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.